All right, so our post, we'll start with looking at our post light. Our post light is stuck at CPU. So, I guess let's figure out what kind of CPU this has. I believe this is an AMD board looking at this. Like the way this cooler is on here. First and foremost, let's take a look at the CPU. This kid specifically said he didn't get thermal paste on this. But strangely, I can see thermal paste. I don't see any bridging. I think he's fine. Move that off to the side. We got an AM4. Let me toss a uh, processor in there real quick. So let's see if my Ryzen 5 5600G has any effect here. More than likely, this is a BIOS issue. Let's pull all this memory. Put a single stick in there. We were going to set, just gently set this on there. So that way we don't overheat. Well, we got something. So more than likely, what we're going to need to do is we're just going to need to update the BIOS. Yep. Because we have, we got a post. I'm going to slowly add memory in until she fails. So we're going to post. This is your basic troubleshooting steps with a CPU. This is like, it's difficult for like most people to do. So I, now I'm starting to get an error. And the reason this is difficult for most people to do is because you don't have another processor just laying around. Well, we're good. All right, so we're good. Let's uh, let's figure out what BIOS we need. Uh, the the CPU that this that he brought it in with is a Ryzen 9 5900 X3D 5800 X3D. That's a never mind. It's a Ryzen 7. Give me two seconds. Let's find our BIOS. So we're gonna find this thing. This is what I was looking for. So there are a lot of times where, like, it's gonna sound weird. So this is a modern flash drive. If you like, if you're in the process of updating your BIOS and you're having trouble and you're following all the directions correctly, this is what I found to be the problem. So you end up with something like this. This is a modern flash drive. I bought this maybe less than six months ago. It's 32 gig flash drive. This, is a flash drive from like eight years ago. It's 16 gigs. 
What I find is like modern USB 3 flash drives can't update the BIOS for some reason because there's certain BIOS that can't read more than like 16 gigs of a flash drive. So it refuses to read any of it. So if you're ever having trouble, try using an old flash drive. Let's plug this in to our BIOS flash. And there's two ways to do this. We can either do this via via the BIOS flashback button, or we can do what I'm about to do. And I'm just gonna use the internal interface because why not, right? So we'll go in here and then we're going to go to M flash. We'll reboot into the flash mode. And your flash mode. Yeah, it says this is the correct. It says it's the same, but yet it's still letting me update it, which is sus suspect. Yeah, I'm sure. He, the thing is, the guy said that he did do this. So. But we're going to do it again. I'm going to be, I hate to be the bearer of bad news for this guy. And say, yeah, buddy. Everything's fine, except for your CPU, which you now have to send back. How hot are you? I'm not hot at all, are you? Man, this 5600G is like a champ. All right. All right, let's see if we're back to the same error. Which, as soon as I put this processor in, oh, wait. Are we gonna get something different here? I think, I think we're good. I think it's posting now. Look at that. I am magic. Anyways, I have a feeling what happened is like when it did the BIOS update, it like it installed that BIOS, but it didn't actually update it. Like it, it updated like the naming convention or he got a fake BIOS for some reason, which would be really strange. But the fact that it's working now, I think we're, I think we're good. Let's take a look in the BIOS. I wanna check some temperatures real quick. Forty-eight, thirty-nine. Yeah, this is this is all fine. All right, cool. Let's get this out of here. Like I said, I, my, I'm of the personal opinion that all this needed was a simple BIOS flash. Even though it already listed the correct BIOS revision, I, maybe he got like a bad version or it just updated the BIOS revision number, didn't actually install the BIOS update. So just reinstalling it seems to have corrected his problem and now we'll give him a call and take it home. 
he can uh, test it out and see if uh, that takes care of his problem. So I guess that's the end of this video. So thanks for uh, stopping by checking it out. If you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. So hey, thanks for checking this out. Have a good one.